working with a mini stability ball today, or we call it a Pilates ball. Um, and this is going to be a basic beginner's uh, exercise uh, routine. So you're going to start down on the floor and we'll have your ball between your knees. Between, I would say a little bit higher up than your knees so it's right between your thighs. Keep the pressure away from your knees. And let's just come on down to the floor. You're going to be on your back. And your palms are going to be down by your side. Now I want you to just have a gentle squeeze on that ball. Just squeeze it and feel how that changes what happens in your body. Now just release it. And then squeeze that ball again. So the inner thighs, when they're active, it actually engages your pelvic floor, which is a very important part of stability, a very important part of movement. So just right here, we're just squeezing the ball and just squeezing it gently and just Feel that activation in your inner thighs. Now give that ball a gentle squeeze. You're going to keep it squeezed. And now press your feet into the floor. And feel that whole lower half of your body nice and strong. Release everything. And do that again. So you're squeezing the ball. Press your feet into the floor. And then release that. Do that again. But this time, squeeze the ball. Press your feet into the floor. Now think of reaching your tailbone to the ceiling. I'm using my feet to lengthen my low back and draw my belly button towards my spine. And then release that. You'll come to more of a natural position with your pelvis. And then press your feet into the floor again. Squeeze the ball. Reach your tailbone to the ceiling. Now with that squeeze and you're pressing down into the floor, let's start to peel up off the floor. And I want you to think of the spine lifting up off the floor one vertebra at a time. And as we're melting down, make sure that when we're doing these exercises, you're going to listen to your body and modify accordingly. If, that, if anything feels comfortable, modify or stop. Be sure to follow the directions that your doctor told you. So we're going to do this again. We're pressing our thighs together, squeezing that ball. Press your feet into the floor and start to lift the hips to the ceiling. Now I want you to think of the front seam of your pants reaching right straight up to the ceiling and drop your ribs. Now squeeze that ball 10 times. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lift the hips a little higher. Squeeze your sit bones together. Now melt down. And we'll be going back up there again. Once you touch down, come back into a natural position. Press those feet back down. Squeeze the ball. Lift your tailbone to the ceiling. Standing on your feet, just like as if you're standing. Your feet are driving into the floor. Lift your hips to the ceiling. Think of that front seam of your pants facing the ceiling. Drop your ribs, your bottom rib reaching towards the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Now press the ball 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and we're going to come all the way back down. We're going to keep your feet right where they're at and bring our arms open like a T. Your palms are facing up or down, whatever's comfortable for you. Gentle squeeze on the ball. Now, as you lean your legs to one side, that opposite foot's going to creep up off the floor. And then bring the legs back to the center, and let's go over to the other side. So as the knees lean, that outside foot is going to come off the floor. These are your obliques. So as you're reaching the legs across, think of the opposite side of your waist, working to draw those hips back down. Lean to one side and bring it back down. Let's just go two more of those and bring it back down. And then one more and bring it back down. So let's take that ball out. You're going to lift your hips off the floor, lift your hips up into a high bridge, scooch that ball under, and if you have to sort of pop the hips up a little higher to um, place it right under the hips, right under your sacrum, so it's not at my low back. Make sure it's around, around the hips, right around your sacrum. Your palms are on the floor. Now I want you to think of reaching your low back towards the ball. Draw your ribs down in front like you're wearing a tight pair of suspenders. Without changing anything, lift your right foot off the floor and then lower that foot back down. Without letting the hips come along with it, we're going to lift your left leg up off the floor now, just marching it out. Lower that down. The ball should not be moving. And so you're going to draw your belly button towards your spine a little bit more and lower. Now the left leg is going to lift, and the right leg is going to meet it. So we'll be all the way up. Find your stability here. Press those palms into the floor. 
And if this is where you feel the most unstable, but you can hold it, I want you to just stay here. If you feel like you can start to bring the limbs of the legs, the limbs of the body, the legs away from you, I want you to start to reach one foot down towards the floor, feeling this connection in your body in the front. And the ball's not moving because you have your low back reaching into the ball, your belly buttons reaching towards your spine, towards the ball. Lower and bring it up and lower and up. And let's do that again. And lift and then one more. And lift. Now while we're here, squeeze those inner thighs together. All I want you to do is lift your palms off the floor. Your elbows are down. Now reach your arms to the ceiling. If you start to fall, it's okay. You're only an inch or two off the floor. Lower those elbows down and bring your feet to the floor. And I want you to bring one knee towards your chest. And that leg that's on the floor, just stretch that leg out long. Feel a nice stretch down the front of that hip. Any discomfort in the back, don't stretch that bottom leg out so long. And then bring the legs in and just switch sides. So one foot down, the other knee's gonna draw towards your chest. And maybe this is where you're gonna stay. Feel that stretch down the front of your hip. Slide that bottom leg out as far as comfortable for you. Feel an opening in the front of the hips. And then bring everything back in. We're gonna bring both feet to the floor. Feel your body just become heavy for a second. It's always a, sort of a nice position to be in, here, in with your hips lifted off the floor, sort of open in the chest, or the hips, sorry. Oh, nice and heavy. So let's lift the hips up off the wall, bring it out, and we're gonna slowly melt those hips all the way down into the floor so that you can roll over to one side now, and we're gonna to come to your elbows. We're gonna have the ball right under your sternum. So your elbows are down. Now, if this is uncomfortable for any situation, this whole sequence can be done without the ball and you'll be down a little lower. This is just gonna give you something to lift away from. So with that, supporting your chest, your elbows are out to the side just a little bit. So most of my weight is in my elbows. I'm not really laying on the ball so much. Now bring your feet wide. Press your toenails down into the floor. Now lift your belly away from the ball. Keeping your elbows down, lift your sternum away from the ball. Now looking forward, see if you can roll that ball forward using your sternum. And then roll it back. It's a subtle movement. And while you're doing this, your low back is gonna stay long. So you're gonna really think of that low back reaching, your tailbone reaching towards your heels. Press the toes down, lift your kneecaps, drag that ball forward using your sternum, and then come back down. Rolling it forward again, right here, reaching it forward, roll it forward, and then come back down. So let's slide those legs together or as close as comfortable for you. We're gonna have your hands in front of supporting your head. So I want you to look down at the ball. If you don't have the ball, you're gonna just rest your, your hands on the floor. We're gonna come from there. So if you have the legs together and your low back feels any discomfort, make sure to take the legs a little bit apart and see if that helps. We're gonna think of reaching your tailbone towards your heels. Let your head feel heavy. Now look down at the ball or look down at the floor and then see if you can hover those hands away from the floor. And look down and lift. Draw your belly away from the floor the whole time. Relax those shoulders, your head is heavy. If the legs are together, really engage those inner thighs, lift and lower. And we're gonna go two more here. Looking down at the bottom and lift. And one more. And lift. And now we'll hover about halfway down. We want to think of a dark position is what we call it. Bring your arms down by your side. Turn your thumbs to face down. Legs are drawn together. If you're flat on the floor, this is completely fine. Hover your nose away from the floor. Now lift the arms towards the ceiling and lower them back down. Thumbs facing down, palms facing your thighs. Lift and lower the arms and lower 
the pinky fingers are reaching to the ceiling. Hover the, the sternum away from the ball, see if you can. That's hard to do. <laughs> Lift and lower, one more. Squeeze the legs together, don't forget. Lower down. Let's bring the hands in, and I want you to sit back on your heels. You're gonna bring the ball with you. So on our shell stretch here, you're gonna hug that ball in close to your belly, and let's just reach over the top. That gives you something to, sort of a tactile, uh, something to lay on, it gives you a little bit more stretch in your low back as your body just melts over the top of that ball. It's a little counter stretch after that extension. We're gonna come all the way up. Let's come to your side and you'll have the ball at your feet. But I want the ball under your legs, under your ankles. So right here, your bottom elbow is bent, nice and long. The front of the hips are long and open. So be careful that you're not starting to let the, the ball roll forward or back. It's right in line with your body. And maybe all we're gonna do for now is just press the bottom leg into the ball. And if you're starting to feel a little wobble in it, wobbliness, then just hold that. Relax this top arm so we're not hugging the floor we're nice and open. It's like we're laying in a toaster or our back is laying against the wall or the edge of the mat. Now lift the top leg up, press that bottom leg down. Flex your foot to lower. The outside seam of your pants is facing the ceiling. Lift up and lower. Press that bottom leg down. Continue to press it down. Lift up and lower and lift. Lift the bottom side of your waist away from the floor. Reach that top leg as long as you can get it. Think of reaching it longer than the bottom leg. Lift and lower, and up, and down, two more here. Lift, and lower. Now we're gonna lift it, hold it lifted here for a second, flex your foot. Rotate your toes to face the floor. Your knee faces the floor, stay straight. You're gonna tap that foot towards the front of the ball and lift the heel back to the ceiling. Tap it down towards the floor, and lift it back up. Bottom leg's pressing down, and lift it up, and down, and up, two more here. Down and up, and here's your last one. And lift, and bring that foot all the way down. We can take that top knee forward and just feel that nice relaxation. <laughs> and we'll take the bottom knee in. You're gonna end up coming off that ball. And let's um, bring it out of your way here for a second. I'm just gonna have you sit forward. Your knees are open and your feet are together or as comfortable as you uh, bring your feet into a position that you feel comfortable. You're sitting on your sit bones nice and tall. And we're just gonna do a mermaid side to side. So as you reach up and over, you should feel no tension in the front of the hips. So if you need to change something, maybe sit up on a pad, maybe sit on a pillow, and this is something that you could do throughout the day. This nice side bend, lateral bend, stretch in your spine is so good for us. So let's do one more side to side. And we're gonna come all the way over to the other side. So we'll bring that ball to your feet. Legs are long, the trickiest part is going to be getting set up. So we want the ball right below your ankles, at your ankles, under your ankles. <laughs> and the bottom elbow is bent, your head is resting on a bent elbow. Now to start, press the bottom leg down into that ball. Stretch the top leg a little longer than you thought possible. Relax the shoulders, make sure we're not rolling over to hug the floor. Now lift the top leg up and flex to lower. The outside seam of your pants, remember, is facing the ceiling. Flex to lower and lift up and down. You wanna think of your heels sliding up that back wall that you're laying against. Lift up and down and up and down. Let's go three more here. Point and flex, working through your foot. And now you're going to leave the foot up there, flex your foot, turn your knee, thigh, toes towards the floor, reach that foot to the front of the ball and then lift the heel to the ceiling. Leg is staying straight, bottom leg still pressing down, and your hips are staying stacked. So the ball is really a good way to see if, you're, if your hips are wobbling, the ball is gonna be moving. So the ball is staying nice and still. Lift and lower the leg. Bottom leg pressing down, remember. Lengthen that top leg out as long, longer than you thought possible. Lift the leg up 
and lower it all the way down. Take that knee, bend it, and place it forward. Relax here for a second. <laughs> you earned it. So let's take the ball all out from under your foot. We're gonna come all the way up to seated. We're gonna go into that side bend again. So find your place that you are sitting on your sit bones. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me, just so that you feel like you're not sort of rocked back or if your knees are bent. So bend your knees if we get up nice and tall. And then we will take the ball out of the way and just reach up and over. And then over to the other side. And up and over. And I know the ball just rolled away. And up and over. Here's your last one. We're gonna bring that ball back in. So let's take it and bring it between your thighs. So if you take a look at the floor, hands are on the floor and so are your knees. You're gonna place that ball between your thighs. So let's give it a little squeeze here. Fingertips pointing forward, pressing the floor away. Shoulder blades are drawn apart. Pressing those knees into the floor, squeeze the ball. Now drop your tail towards your heels, towards your knees and the head is gonna lower. Look down at that ball. Continue to squeeze the ball, and then uncurl starting at the tail. And we're gonna stop at a nice extension here, or a, sorry, not extension, lengthen neutral spine. Roll your tail under again, and drop your head. Look at the ball, and uncurl. And in a nice neutral spine. We're gonna do a little practice plank here. So keeping your spine neutral, tuck your toes under. Shift those knees together so you have a nice a solid squeeze on that ball. Now all we're gonna do is lift your knees off the floor half an inch. And maybe they're not even gonna quite lift, but imagine those knees now are lifting up off the floor, even for an inch, maybe not. And you'll lower back down whenever you need to. Let's lower everything back down. We're gonna go back up there again. This is your practice plank. Nice work. Squeeze the ball. Lift your knees off the floor, just half an inch. Hold it. Keep squeezing the ball. Lower your knees down. One more time. Lift your knees off the floor. Pressing the floor away with your palms. Lower the knees down. Uncurl your toes. Let's sit back on your heels and reach out long towards the end of the mat. You have that ball between your thighs or roll it all the way up onto your lap again so that we can reach over the top and just feel a little, a little more stretched by having something to roll over. And we're going to come all the way up. So thanks a lot, you guys. Hope to see you again next time. Be sure to subscribe to Move Wellness on YouTube, and we'll see you later.